What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna go over the Termi Shrimpinator team and how a new person in the game can really strategize to get those wins and increase their MMR. So our scholars team is on the right here. We have the Termi 46 speed, you know, the, all the Terminator parts, the double stun possibility, the slowdowns, the extreme amount of damage. We have the Shrimpinator, Goda to control the energy in the game and all these beast bug damage cards to really do damage and they can attack back door. And in the front we have, of course, our plant with yam for the poison to poison all of the enemies. Um, by the way, a little softy, um, just side note, gave you a plant for you to try out. I'll show it to you on stream, but I think you're gonna have a lot of fun. It can replace your Terminator, but I digress. Let's get back to the video. Um, in the front here, uh, we have an aqua tank we're going against. We have a mid-lined massive damage plant with branch charge and barb strike. And we have vegetable here with some yam. In the back, we're also going against a termi. So this is an interesting team, almost a mirror match, but this person wanted to invert these two. So now when you're playing in the game, the first thing that you really want to think about is who is the threat here? As Eagle says, is there a new update for S20 boss? So S20 update hasn't been announced yet, but my guess is that it's gonna be, season 20 is probably gonna be in February. That's my guess. I think we're headed for a long off season between season 19 and season 20. Um, and season 19, of course, finishes Jan 4th. So first thing you wanna know is who's the threat here. I would say there is no threats, realistically. You match up very well here. So realistically, it's because there's not really someone who's a big, big, huge threat. Um, you can kind of decide on who you want to attack. If you want to go to the front door and the back door, and it's really based on your cards. Now this person does have vegetable here. So first round, you could really do anything you want to. I wouldn't mind just using this card for draws in first round, but let's see what happens here. So again, first round pumpkin. I'm a completely on board with this. This person goes for the chomp first, probably didn't need to do that, especially if you're attacking with boast. And this person literally just blew their whole casket. They used all of their energy and kind of panicked, to be honest. <laughs> they kind of panicked here. Uh, Cole Hart said, I've heard about leaks of balance changes, but I haven't seen it yet. So on Twitter, um, Jiho actually tweeted asking people, hey, what kind of balance changes do you want to see? And balance changes, I think the mechs are getting nerfed. I think that's the most obvious one coming. Um, so right here, the second turn is coming up. So this person has been just spamming all their energy here. If they're spamming energy like that, it's definitely going to continue. I wouldn't mind the pumpkin this round, but I think this is a turn. You didn't get shrimp, you didn't get real attack cards here. So it's possible, hmm. It's really up to you here what you wanna do, honestly. If you wanna go to the back, oh, you have shrimp. Okay, so if you have shrimp, you can attack them, go all out. I would go shrimp, dull grip, in the middle, I would put Goda, and the last one I would put the Barb Strike. The reason why I'd put Goda in the middle is just in case he uses Sticky Goo. He shouldn't use Sticky Goo, but just in case he does, it looks like he's using Sticky Goo, which is very paranoid for round two, to be honest, but <laughs> I digress. Um, and then you're gonna use, oof, you won't be able to get the poison, okay. So maybe I would just use Shrimp and one Barb Strike, honestly, with Allergic to the front here, but let's see what happens. So notice, normally you would use Dull Grip first, but because Ezekiel is as paranoid as me, he put Barb Strike here to make sure he gets the poison, which is more important than Dull Grip. And then to make sure the poison's activated, notice how he uses this card here, Allergic. Now, any card that has a red label is a bug card. And as you can see here in the Barb Strike, you need to use, um, to actually get these poison ticks, you have to apply it in the chain. What it means by a chain is playing it with another Axie using a bug card. And notice this Axie in the back is poisoned. Little Softy says, sir, what is your thought about the cards need to be nerfed and buffed? 
I read a lot of recommendations and mostly they want to bring back OP double aquas. Oh my God. Um, guys, if you knew back in the day, double aquas absolutely ruined the meta. Between 1,400 and 2,100 MMR, it was all double aquas <laughs> and termies. And it was just an absolutely overpowered class. You couldn't play beasts, you couldn't play birds, you couldn't play anything. Um, now it's, they're kind of good, like a lot of high MMR teams are using them. So I wouldn't be surprised if one or two Aqua cards maybe see a buff, but I, do, I really think the game's in a good point right now. I think 100% what's going to get nerfed a bit is cards like Twin Tail and Furball. I could see Furball only being two hits and Twin Tail maybe them taking the damage down a bit. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if something like that happens. Um, Ezekiel, Trent, Ezekiel says the beast now has a high shield, I think. So right now, right now this person played Sticky, very paranoid, but played it round two. And then, boom, right here hits him here. And this person plays Branch Charge, so... We're still in a relatively good spot, even though it doesn't look like it, honestly. In three turns, this plant is hit hurt pretty bad. Um, right now, you're in chomp range, which means with th a three card combo description could chomp, allergic, and kill you. However, you've seen them play chomp, you've seen them play allergic, so right now it's one of those checks. Do you want to put your your plant cards up and I would say honestly I would probably play wooden stab pumpkin here let's see what Ezekiel does and now Ezekiel's actually in a pretty pretty frustrating position actually um, this person has five energy Ezekiel has four energy Now the good news is you want people to be attacking you when you're attacking. You have the second fastest Axie. This guy is going to be able to really do some damage because he is faster than you. So right now it's gut check time. Do you want to use your guy to go back door? And I say, I think in this situation I do. I don't mind going shrimp, go to go to here. I think that's the move. You put over a hundred shield and this person they haven't used much attack cards though, but I don't know if they have enough juice by themselves to kill you. Let's see what he does. And he does exactly that. Backdoor. Backdoor with double Gota. And this is just an absolute backbreaker for, for the opponent. Gota actually takes away their energy. This person basically has no health here. But unfortunately, he left one energy from them to steal back, which was a bit of a misstep there, so. And again, this this guy is really doing his job here, taking away the energy. So one of the things I've noticed in these situations is a lot of times you don't necessarily need to use Sticky Goo here. A lot of times when your Aqua just dies, the opponent will just pass and allow you to kill this guy. Um, I don't mind the sticky you there here because he just stole your energy. He knows he has a lot of energy. So let's see what happens here. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. Now what's great about this is this person slowed down. He's stunned. So he's going to draw cards still even though he's stunned. Um, now you just gotta hope that this person doesn't draw a vegetable. Realistically, you can do Chomp, Sticky, you can do anything and you'll survive this. I wouldn't mind going Chomp, Sticky, and the reason I say that is just because that will put up your most shield if you do those two. Let's see what he does. And he just <laughs> saves his energy, smart. So he could have probably honestly just used Sticky you then. Good morning, Stewie and Fly. Hi, Keith, what is going on? Coldhearted said, double aqua never died. Top one still uses double aqua. Yeah, especially with the teams, mostly being bird and beast in the leaderboard, double aqua is making a comeback. So 
I don't see the buff coming. I think the game's in a real good state. I think the only thing that's going to end up being nerfed is mechs and probably mech cards, unfortunately. Cyril, good morning. Hopefully you guys are having an ex absolutely excellent morning right now. So very smartly, very smartly right now, you notice he is just saving energy here. The only thing that's scary about this is this guy in the back being able to use those mystic mystics sometimes is a good way to get rid of his energy. But because this is a yam plant, he would have had so much poison if he full out attacked him here. Let's see what he does here. So very smartly, this person expects him to have shield, but he doesn't have allergic to do some massive damage, unfortunately for him. And then he goes back here and just absolutely pulverizes him. Boom. Okay, and now we're in very scary territories here. So notice how this guy was double stunned here. That's the beauty of the Terminator. He's really good at avoiding damage. And with this person having zero energy at all, he's no match for the Termi's double stun ability. And now this is where we get fancy. Whoo, okay. Oh my God, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And just like that, we have the tie. So, I mean, there was opportunities here. You know, there was a bit missed opportunities and you'll find in the game, really, it's one or two rounds you end up losing. So definitely just being able to tweak those strategies a bit. One of the things to note is if you see an opponent has vegetable and goat up, you know they're gonna put pressure to your energy a lot. So a lot of times you have to really choose when you're saving that energy to use it. Um, all in all, I think a good game. Um, I think you maybe wanted to get rid of that aqua a bit faster. You did get your shrimp cards at a good time, but there's just a bit of few things that you can do. But anyways, everyone watching this game, if you like more videos like this and you want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube. We put up videos three times and more a week. It's been your host, Fly Stewie, and we Fly Crew. Guess what? See you next time. Peace!